the kind of industrial policies that India followed from the 1950s were progressively abandoned from the 1990s onwards, in particular licensing of industries, promotion of state-owned enterprises, promotion of uh, small-scale units, restrictions on foreign direct investment, and of course uh, restrictions on foreign trade, all of these were progressively relaxed from the 1990s onwards. In general, moving the direction of allowing freer play for market forces in determining industrial outcomes. Uh, the results have been somewhat mixed. Uh, industri industrial employment has really not grown, although many large industries have shown dynamism. Uh, many others have uh, come up. But the real dynamism of the Indian economy has been in the services sector, especially information technology enabled services, where these restrictions were never applied in the first place. The remaining restrictions which are hampering uh, manufacturing industry like land acquisition, environmental clearance, getting loans from banks, those are not obstacles for the new service sector entrepreneurs, so they have really thrived. Uh, labor regulations are an issue of controversy with uh, employers saying that there are too many restrictions on their ability to lay off redundant workers. So far the government has not formally backtracked on those laws, but some state governments have gone ahead and done it on their own, and uh, employers have got around it by increasingly relying on workers hired through labor contractors who are not protected by the existing industrial laws. And th their share of manufacturing employment has really grown, and it is now over one third of the organized manufacturing sector workforce. Uh, another way out has been for large-scale industry to outsource a lot of their um, production to small-scale units that are not covered by labor laws. And of course, much of the services sector outside the government is not covered by these restrictions on uh, retrenching labor. So it's not at all an issue there. So it's not clear which way things will move from here on. Uh, although there have been more than 26 years of reform, uh, in terms of growth of industry, the record has not been very encouraging and currently industry is suffering from the after effects of the financial crisis of 2008 because banks are burdened with uh, loans that cannot be recovered, industries became over indebted and cannot repay the existing loans. So there is a problem in uh, mobilizing capital. That is why the most dynamic service sector employers have really relied on uh, inter uh, venture capital funding from abroad. And uh, many of them have thrived, but recently there have been some signs of trouble uh, uh, with their valuations, and it remains to be seen how long that model can be sustained.